Hello, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and if you're a Unity developer, I have some news for you. And as you can probably guess by the graphic up in the background, yeah, um, Unity are killing off Unity Script. And Unity Script is their implementation of JavaScript, or more specifically, ECMA Script, which has actually been a feature of Unity since version 1.0. So basically, Unity started as a JavaScript engine, got C Sharp support, C Sharp became by far and away the most popular option, and that's where we are today. Now, this isn't the first time they've sunsetted support for a language. They actually removed Boo script in 2014. Now, Boo was a dialect of Python, and really almost nobody used Boo. So that one really didn't go um, unnoticed, but people didn't, for the most part, care. But Unity script or JavaScript, you think that one is a lot more popular. Uh, but you might be shocked to find out that that isn't so true, as we will see in a second. So how is this going to happen? Well, in Unity 2017.2, uh, so the upcoming beta, this menu right here, Assets, Create, JavaScript, is going to go away. So you're no longer going to be able to create JavaScript inside of the editor. You'll still be able to create a JS file in um, an external editor, however you wish. So if you're using Visual Studio or um, Mono Develop, you can still create it externally. You just can't do it using the editor. And then they're going to slowly start phasing it out from there. Now, we'll cover that in a second, though. Now, there are a couple of reasons to go ahead and do this. First off, now that they have full mono integrated, their C-sharp support is getting a lot better. And as a result, they're trying to keep Unity at, you know, Unity script at parity with C-sharp script is going to take more and more resources. And as I was mentioning earlier, there's actually surprisingly less people using Unity script than you might be surprised to find out. Now, one of the things that they've just announced in this blog post is that they've kind of got analytics built in that are sharing details back to them about your usage. So they kind of looked at all of your project files over time. And, you know, there is a little bit of a big brotherly thing there. So if you wonder if Unity does look at your code, well, yeah, to a degree they do. Um, but that's a different conversation. Anyways, they've been looking at, you know, just usage data from across Unity users for um, a number of months now. And what they found is that a total of 3.6% of projects are using Unity script heavily. That means they looked at the files and they, they found that the scripting was done primarily using JavaScript files that were considered heavily used. And that turned out to, like I said, less than 4% of people are heavily using Unity script. Or even kind of partially using Unity script was pretty low. Like we're talking 14% um, of files had at least one .js file in them. Now, there could be that some of that came in from you know external code you downloaded. And on that topic, there is phase two. So phase one is they're going to remove uh, the ability to create the JavaScript directly from the editor. Phase two is they're going to um, basically block um, and require you to port to C-sharp to be published in the asset store. So basically your asset store, um, if you're an asset store publisher and you've got your code up there in JavaScript, you're gonna wanna port that sooner. You're gonna probably be removed from it. And then the third thing they're gonna do, kind of a little bit out of order, is they're gonna be releasing a translator. So basically it's gonna be an automatic uh, JavaScript to uh, C-sharp translator that they're working on. Now, who knows how well that tool will end up working, but it's a nice way to go about doing it. And this is going to be kind of like a slowly over time thing. Now, that first one to remove the ability to create them is going straight away. Um, so again, that's the next version. But the rest of the stuff, they're going to slowly kind of, you know, tune it out as people react to how this works. And the final accumulation is going to be they're going to be removing the JavaScript tool chain completely. Now, first off, they're going to be hosting the Unity compiler, a Unity script compiler up on GitHub in a read-only format. So basically you can fork it and create your own version. So if you need to support your own project using the Unity script compiler, that is an option for you. Now, one of those things I learned today uh, is actually that Boo was, um, the Unity script compiler was written in Boo and piggybacked the Boo compiler. So basically up until now, even though it was removed, support was officially removed several years ago, you've been able to compile .boo files for the last several years. I did not know that. And then again, almost nobody used Boo, so I imagine most people didn't actually know this. But what's going to happen is they're taking that tool chain out completely. Uh, so there's going to be no more documentation for Unity script, and then eventually there's going to be no more compiler for it. Um, and as you can see down here, at this point we have only 0.2% of projects on 5.6 contain any .boo, and 0.006 have more than three boo files. So the boo thing already happened. It wasn't really a big deal. Be interesting to see if Unity script, though, goes down as cleanly. Um, 
And if I'm honest, from a personal point of view, uh, first off, I'm a bit of a C Sharp fanboy, so I don't really see a loss here. I think C Sharp is um, almost as easy to learn as JavaScript. Doesn't have some of the um, hideous grossness that JavaScript does, such as um, this is mutability or the really terrible comparison operator or the other things you know that Unity Script or JavaScript have been saddled with for years. So, I, in my opinion, you know, I, I, I hate to see less choice, but I hate to see you know a language that almost nobody is using to hold back or take away from features going forward. So I personally don't mind this, but again, I'm not heavily invested and I don't have a horse in this race, so I really don't care. Um, I don't think they're gonna lose any future customers out of this. I don't think there's a lot of people that chose or you know gravitate towards Unity because of its JavaScript support. Um, so I, I don't think there's a big loss for them, but they could get a bit of a backlash from existing developers that are invested in um, the Unity script uh, side of things. Uh, so it'd be interesting to see how this one bears out. How do you feel on this one? Do you do you care? Um, are you a Unity script developer these days anyways? Is it sad to see it go? Does it temper your opinion towards Unity in any way, shape, or form? Or are you just a gigantic meh? Because I'm kind of under the meh camp. But now I do understand, I can thoroughly understand how some people could be put off by this. But I think I think they're going about doing this the right way. Uh, you know, it's kind of a slow kind of fade out. They're going to be making the technology available on this particular GitHub site. So if you know you do need to go forward supporting this, you can fork off. Obviously, you're not going to get updates. You're not going to get new documentation, etc. cetera. Uh, but yeah, you know what? I, I, think, I think they're being fair in how they're phasing it out. I'm just curious to hear what your opinion is. Do let me know. Uh, that's it for now. I hope you found that at least interesting. And if you're uh, a Unity script developer, I'm sorry if I'm the bringer of bad news. Um, that's it for now. Okay. I will see you all later. Goodbye.